हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुनील कुमार पीजीटी कॉमर्स केंद्रीय विद्यालय सेक्टर एट आर के पुरम लेट मी वेलकम यू टू आर अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज क्लास ट्वेल्थ इन आर प्रीवियस एपिसोड स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट इन द ईयर 1991 एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दीज इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट आर गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट और गोइंग टू इन्फ्लुएंस the business and industry of our country the very first point which tells that it has a great impact on the business and industry that is increasing competition after the introduction of economic policy multinational companies came to our country india they started operating in india but the domestic companies which were earlier getting very little bit competition from the internal competitors now they have to compete with the multinational companies which are having huge financial resources which are having very uh, huge establishments their organization is the best their management is the best their quality of the goods are the best they are keeping very less prices in the market so it is almost impossible for the domestic companies to give competition to the multinational companies so because of this the all round competition increased in our country india and the business were finding it very very difficult that how to cope up with the changes which are taking place recently in the business environment the second most important impact on indian business and industry is more demanding customers before 1991 whatever domestic companies were producing and manufacturing we were using only those products so we had very limited choice of using the products but after the introduction of new industrial policy the multinational companies they started doing business in india they started giving more options to the consumers earlier when there was deficit in getting the products but now it is coming into surplus of the products which gives a full chance to the consumers who are in present era are the boss of the market what they think the companies has to manufacture the same but before 1991 it wasn't like this and after 1991 they have to get the best of the things available in the market so the customers became more choosy now because they are having more variety of products in different sizes in different colors in different shapes so each one would like to get of his own or her choice the next impact of business environment on the business and industry is world class technology it says the changes are always made for the good and certainly the new industrial policy was also meant for the good purposes and one of that was the world class technology earlier in our country the production system was not very much effective the cost of the goods were more the quality of the goods were poor but with the introduction of new industrial policy now the industries can import the machineries from the foreign countries and now by having very good machines high tech machines they will be able to produce not only more number of units but the quality of the products are also of supreme level so it helps the country in getting the products of world class which was before 1991 were limited up to the internal sources where no money was put in research and development here students let me tell you the pharmaceutical companies after introduction of new, new industrial policy they started investing their 12% in r&d department that is research and development department which was before 1991 it was only 2% so now each company was feeling the heat each company was feeling unless they are going to give something to the market if they are going to give it to the public they will not be able to cope up with these changes very very easily they will not be able to sell more and more products in the market as a result they will not be able to get huge amount of profits which is one of the part of their objectives the next feature which comes in the impact of the business and industry is necessity for change indian industry in 1991 they felt they got the early warning signal by scanning the business environment that government is going to announce a new industrial policy on 24th of july so now they need to get ready to cope up with those changes the government is going to give more changes going to put lot of threat to the existence of these industries so they know they have to go for the changes whatever earlier they were doing are not sufficient they have to do something extraordinary and only then they will be able to survive in the market 
and they did. They started getting collaboration with the foreign countries and the companies of those countries, which helped them in not only getting more finance to give push to the production system, but also it gave them enough confidence that they can give a very tough competition to the foreign companies, like the multinational companies. So it was in the favor of the company to adopt the changes as quickly and as possible so as to give and survive in the market. Our next point of importance on the impact on business and industry is market orientation. Before 1991, the market was producer oriented. What does it mean? It means whatever companies were manufacturing, they were selling it in the market. There was deficit of the goods in the market. As a result, the public, they have to use the product. So whatever products are offered to them, they were using the same. But with the introduction of new industrial policy, it's not like this. More companies came to India. They started doing the business. The manufacturing of goods took place. And our country, which was deficit of goods, now in surplus of goods. And whenever anything is in surplus, the competition starts neck to neck. And it helps ultimately to the public who are going to buy the products of a particular company. In it, if a company is keeping the price of, say, 80 rupees, and another company is keeping 70 rupees, then the first company has to think, in order to increase the sale, how it can decrease the prices from 70 rupees to 60 rupees, and further to 50 rupees. So if the companies, if they are making some changes according to the change circumstances, and only then they will be able to make the profits. Moreover, here in market orientation, it completely changed. And the companies, before producing the goods, they went in the market, they have gone for the research in the market, they gone for the questionnaires and they started asking the public what type of product they want from the company, what type of color of the product they want, what type of size they want. So everything was asked by the company before manufacturing the goods from the public. And once the public is getting the goods of their own choice, certainly they would like to give more importance to the company's product and the company will be able to sell more number of units in the market and will be able to earn more amount of profit, which is the ultimate target of each and every company. So market orientation helped the people of our country, India, to get the products not only of their choice, but to get the goods at the best possible price available in the market, which was again not possible before 1991 because they were charged very highly by the domestic companies, which are no more now. Our last but most important effect of LPZ, that is liberalization, globalization, and privatization on the business and industry is loss of budgetary support to public sector. In new industrial policy, government gave more importance to the private sector than the public sector because the public sector was doing up to its maximum level and it was not uh, sufficient to meet the objectives of the government. So they started giving importance to the private sector. And now, earlier, whatever losses were there in the public sector, they were meeting it from the government treasury, but now it is not allowed. In the parliament, if they are producing some losses, so from the parliament side, it will be told to them, they have to meet the losses themselves. Now they will not be given any support from the government treasury, rather, they have to increase their management skills. They have to improve their performance. They have to convert their loss-making organization into profit-making organization, and they have to meet up their losses themselves. So the support from the government side was withdrawn by the government in the new industrial policy. Now, students, we have come to an end of our this chapter, Business Environment. In this episode, we have discussed about the liberalization, globalization, privatization, which were the main feature of our new industrial policy that was announced on 24th of July 1991, and the impact of the liberalization, globalization, and privatization on Indian business and industry. So what are those? Let me just give a feedback once again. That is increasing competition, more demanding customers, world-class technology, necessity for chains, market orientation, loss of budgetary support to public sector. Now you have understood completely the business environment in our previous few episodes. I hope you have understood these concepts and you will be able to perform well. Thank you.